Okay, so before we get started, y'all, I'm really thinking in, in I guess in the comments, y'all could tell me if it's worth doing this. Um, I'm thinking about doing maybe once a week or once a month. I don't know. We, we, we'll figure it out together. But y'all know my background. I'm a marketer. Um, my marketing agency, Power Moves Inc., we specialize in grassroots and alternative marketing. Anything that is, you know, outside the box, on the ground, touching the people, peer-to-peer, word-of-mouth marketing, we are experts at that. And um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was even last week, somebody got in the comments and they was asking... Um, it, it, it was uh, Ariel's Candles and Ariel's Candle Shop. So if any of y'all have not yet bought a candle from Ariel's Candle Shop, please go support her and her candles. But she was asking me a question like, look, how can I market my candles not, on, not online? How can I do it offline? And I gave her just some thoughts off the top of my head. And then when I got off um, of the live, I started to think of all these other ideas that she could have did to really market her candles. But the point I'm trying to make is, y'all give me a thumbs up, y'all let me know, hit me in the DMs, however we are gonna do it. But maybe once a week, once a month, I'm thinking about putting together a panel with marketing experts, people who are experts with online marketing, people like myself who are expert with grassroots and offline marketing, um, traditional marketers like out of home, where you see the big billboards and print ads and radio and bringing together a panel where you guys, cause all the, you know, a lot of y'all have businesses and you're trying to figure out how can I cut through the clutter? How can I get my product out there to the world and, you know, stand on its own? So a question that I'm sure most startup businesses and even big large scale businesses have is how do I market properly? So if this is something y'all think will work, let me know. I definitely bring some experts to the table. And, um, you know, if, if y'all think it's a weekly thing, let me know. If it's a monthly thing, let me know. Um, but that's outside of the Mondays and the Wednesdays. It's just something that I think is near and dear to my heart. Me being a, a, a marketer for the better part of my career. I'm reading the comments. Somebody said, that's dope. Um, Kimmy, what up? I, I, I think that's Kimmy from the UK, y'all. I haven't seen you in the, in the building in a minute. Hope you're the good, girl. We were just talking about you. Um, somebody said a monthly marketing panel sounds great. If y'all want me to do it monthly, I'm all in. Just let me know and, um, you know, we'll kind of make it happen. And also, how's my lighting, y'all? How am I looking? I'm sitting at my desk. Maybe I should put on my my other light. Yeah, this is a little bit better. Okay, who said, I'm trying to read some of your comments. Mr. Jew Bernard, Jew, what up, brother? Good to see you. And Jude is another one to probably be on that panel, y'all. And y'all know Jude is a real estate mogul, killing the game. So just something that I, I definitely think we, we, we need to, to figure out how your products, your services, can cut through the clutter. So if you love the idea, DM me, hit me on the side, um, leave something in the chat. And if and if it's something y'all want to do, I'm, I'm I'm definitely gonna pull together marketers, but with different disciplines. So like I said on the panel, it might be somebody who specializes strictly in online marketing, um, how to boost Facebook ads and Instagram ads the right way. Um, might be somebody like myself who specializes in offline grassroots marketing. Might be somebody who specializes in traditional radio, print, TV ads. In this way, you guys could come in, you can ask your questions um, and really position it based on your budget because a lot of people don't have a lot of money to promote their products and they're just trying to figure out how can I get my product out there. So if it's a good idea, I'm definitely gonna do it. Um, with that said, we'll get started. Let me see who want to jump in the chat. Here's the here's the one caveat I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, guys. When you when, when when I let you before I let you into the in, into the to the overall live, is we gotta respect each other. 
And what I mean by that is if you are in a bad place, your sound is off, it, there's, there's a lot of background noise, if you don't have great lighting, or if you don't have your questions really down packed, please just take your time, get to it. Like I, I would love to have you in, um, in the live because your question might help somebody else. But truth of the matter is, I don't want to disrespect the people in the live and also disrespect my time. I'm doing this and I really want to bring value to our community. So please have yourself situated, know what you want to ask. Understand that, you know, you, you, you're asking a question for yourself, but it's there to help others. So, you know, this is not necessarily the place to say, uh, you know, I want you to listen to my rhymes or I want you to listen to you know, uh, uh, a quick 16 or something. That, that's not what we do here. Um, so, so, so please just really respect the community. All right, let's see who we got trying to jump in this live. And God willing, Instagram is working tonight. I pray. And Hey. Hey, who we got? It's Anaya. How's my lighting? Your, your, your light is perfect. Hey, Zanaya. Hey. So How you doing, girl? You can see me and hear me? We can. Uh-huh. Okay. So um, I'm just going to introduce myself first. Hi, everybody. I'm Zanaya. I'm the CEO of Crafty Looks by Nye. It's basically like a luxury brand, basically um, embracing the beauty within. But since you said that, I think you answered like one of my questions, which was like how to... um market and how to um, promote my business more like my products and all and get more engagement so I can't wait for that but I have a, a question about like LLC so since I'm doing it as like a sole like proprietor or something like that sole proprietorship yeah so um is it like mandatory to do like an LLC when you're like in the beginning because I'm only I'm not like at a year at it and you know how I don't have like an office. I think that when you have to do your LLC, your um, address and everything is like out in the open. You know what I mean? For people to see. Um, okay, I want to make sure I understand your question. So so first, you had a question about marketing. Are we bypassing that? Are you good on that? Or do you want to start with the LLC question? Yeah, because I think like the panel will help me more with like how to get like my stuff out there and stuff. So we can back. Oh. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. We can bypass that first question um, because it's basically um, what the panel will be. Okay, so so you want to wait for the panel to, to ask the marketing question? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so your question is in terms of your L, do you need an LLC as a sole mm -hmm. proprietor? Yeah. No. It, like when you're in the beginning of your business, mm -hmm. it could, isn't it like important to do your LLC? It's important to get incorporated. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Um, you don't want to do business under your personal name. I don't know how much money your company is making, and I don't want to ask you that publicly unless you want to disclose. But the, the, the benefits of getting your, yourself incorporated mm -hmm. is you're able to treat your personal in entity yourself, which is Zanaya, mm -hmm. and your business as two very separate entities. So, for instance... Say you go out to eat, right? Mm -hmm. If you go out to eat and you have your, your LLC set up, mm -hmm. now you can write that off because it's, you know, technically if you're going out to eat and you're meeting with somebody to enhance your business, it's a business luncheon and things like that. So it's a way for you to, to keep your personal and your business very, very separate. So did you and, and you're saying LLC, Mm -hmm. But it's really what you're really asking is being incorporated, and there you know there, there are several different um, shelters. There are several different ways to be incorporated. You know you have S corps, uh, you you have C corps. Um, so you you have to look for ones that that are best for you. You being somebody who you know uh, is a sole proprietorship. You know just having a basic LLC, I think is you know, fine for you. And I would absolutely recommend that you do it, especially um, for tax purposes, if for nothing else. Um, I think that it's going to benefit you, but it's easy to set up. There, there are a million sites online to do it. Um, if, if you don't want to go out there and hire a lawyer to do it, but they're also relatively cheap, but I have done it my, myself. I've done it 
for myself. And I've also had lawyers do it for me and they charge something that's like $250, $350 to do it. So it's, it's just really worth getting it done. Okay, that's not too bad. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, because I was definitely, yeah, I was thinking about the taxes and all that because I'm working on learning that situation too with like, you know, as I get bigger and everything, um, which I'm a, um, I'm a manifested six um, figure. I'm not there yet, but I will get there. I will get there to be a six figure business because I love yeah, you. Business. How long you been in business now for one year? Um, Not a year. It's been like less than a year. Okay. Uh, now, Zanaya, just refresh. Were you on last week? Did you come mm -hmm. on last week? Because mm -hmm. I know I bought something from from your um, yeah, uh, from your boutique. I actually I sent it to my sister in North Carolina. I don't know if you got it. It, it was the it was the Black Lives Matter bracelet you sell. No, I've seen it. I sent it out. It's on the way. Thank you so much. You know, my, my my sister's in here. She don't even know that it's coming, you know, but she usually don't checks it on the live. <laughs> but it was very nice. I, I thought you had so many dope, like really really nice products there. But you you got more stuff for women than men on there. Yeah, so I was like, yo, my sister would probably like it. Yeah, I'm definitely working on it, man. So I got some ideas. So don't worry, it's coming. Okay, so do do me a favor. Like, before, before you even jump off, why don't you educate everybody who is right now within the live and in this community, tell them about your boutique. Tell them about um, what you're doing and, and how you're trying to build it out. And, you know, for me, I learned more about it when I went online and, and, and I bought the thing for my sister. But... You know, there's some people in here right now who would love to order for you if you just let them know what you're doing. Okay, so I basically sell, um, well, I started with lip gloss and I do um, the Black Lives Matter. They're really pretty, like Black Lives Matter bracelets and Black Lives Matter pins. Um, I'm actually working, I've actually been working like all this week. I'm doing a huge, like, kind of like small rebrand, but a Valentine's Day um theme and everything it's going to be real cute because like i'm doing skincare now so it's going to be i don't want to spill all the gems but like maybe lotions um scrubs home and bath butters so stay tuned but um i want to get like big to like inspire everybody basically and be like a six-figure business and to help other people um start their business mm -hmm. that answers no that. I think, I think, you know, and I remember you now remember from even last week and you were saying how you're not getting so much support from the people who are closest to you. But I still go hard. It's like I did right now for this Valentine's. Like, even if it doesn't, like, I didn't get, like, too big, but I could get a good amount. Like, you don't want to go crazy, but I just do it because I like making people happy and I love it because it's something that I love to do. Just like the guy said, it, it'll come. It'll come. No, it's absolutely going to come. That's number one. And, you know, truth be told, Zanaya, mm -hmm. th this thing, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Right. And you have to, you have to, they're, they're, it's, it's a marathon for a reason. Mm -hmm. You want to go through the bumps in the road. You want to go through all of the different things that help you to learn business. Like even right now, you're asking me about being incorporated and all of mm -hmm. those things. Th those things take time and you're not going to know what the first go round. And for all we know, this is just going to be your first business. You will have another one a year down the road or five years yeah. down the road. So these are all things that you're supposed to learn. So really just take time, you know, to build what you're doing and learn all the lessons that you're supposed to learn because just because you're doing this today mm -hmm. and you're so passionate about it today, it doesn't mean that one day, you're not going to be passionate about a whole completely different business. And I'm living proof of it. You know, I created the Global Spin Awards, which was, which is the Grammys for the DJs. At, at that time, I thought that that's all I was going to be doing. I created Power Moves Inc. Marketing and Promotion, which is a, a grassroots marketing agency. At the time, I thought that's all I was going to be doing. Who knew that one day I'd be doing something like this? But all of the lessons that I learned Mm -hmm. Again, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And it's why I could come into to what I'm doing now and be able to talk to you guys the way that I'm talking to you and help hopefully give you guys some um, advice that, that really helps you along in your journey. Right. Yeah, because there's a learning curve. And even like with me in school, right, doing everything and in school and working a little bit, it's going to come and I'm just hustling because I want to brand into like, because I, I think I told last um time I was here but I want to be a pediatric nutrition assistant so um I want to incorporate like my business and all that to my fields 
I'm looking into, you know, different things like that. So I'm going to expand and different other things. Well, again, th my best advice would be to you is take your time. Yeah. Learn. Really, really understand, like, right now, I, I think you're in a great space. You're learning how to sell. You have this online um, store, this online boutique. Mm -hmm. You learn from there, and you figure out how to take it to the next level. But, you know, hitting six figures is a lot easier than you think. Trust me when I tell you. Wow, I never knew that. It's that easy. <laughs> I ain't saying it is that easy, but it's easier than you think. It really, really is. Because you got to think about it. If if you can figure out how to sell, you know, product, you know, for $10 mm -hmm. to, to 10 people, once you learn how to sell it to just 10 people, you can take those same strategies and figure out how to sell it to 20 people and then duplicate that and sell it to 40 people. So you see the more and more that you're really getting into your business, you're going to learn how to market it, what works best for your clientele, how to get retention, meaning people are now coming back. You know, they, they, they bought something from you. How do I retarget and remarket to them and get them back yeah. buying stuff from me? So you, you'll see eventually it's, it's going to be a, a little easier than you think to get to that six figure mark. It's not as far away as you think it might be. Okay, yeah, and the panel, I'll definitely be like tuning in. Like that'll definitely help me. Too, like, oh, what do you think about that idea? Is, is, is it worth something, worth what's doing? No, I love it. That's what I'm saying. Like the panel will help me with that question that I had in the beginning where I said like how, cause I, you know, I, like I say, I struggle with getting um maybe not too much like engagement with my page or like not too many orders. So like how to market it better and stuff like that. So that panel will definitely help me. Got you. Yeah, well, you know, it's something that, that if, if the rest of the community really wants it, I'm 100% going to do it. I think that a lot of small businesses and, and large businesses, you know, they suffer from how do I cut through the clutter? How do I get people to, to come and shop with me as opposed to somebody else? And um, really, when it, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that I think that people can benefit from because there's so many, you know, we, we talk about marketing. But that's so broad. I mean, you know, if this was 1960s, everything was television. You know, then 70s, everything is outdoors, meaning billboards and stuff like that. Um, you know, so the times have changed. Now everything is online. But, you know, when you say online, that's the freaking abyss. Are we talking, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch? Now everybody's on Clubhouse. Like, it's so broad. So I like to bring as many experts to the table as possible to help people like yourself oh that's a good idea i was definitely working on it too black history month coming advertising it. thank you i'm definitely was thinking about that are you doing anything for black history month somebody in the in the chat just gave a great yeah. idea a great suggestion i was looking into it but i might even look into that more now because i've been focusing a lot on the valentine's day stuff that's definitely a good idea because i was thinking about it it was on my mm -hmm. mind in yeah, March. I definitely think it's I definitely think it's worth it. In March is Women Empowerment Month. Okay, I love these ideas. And somebody asked if I do it in a lab. I don't have a lab yet. I make it at my house, but like with all natural like products and all that. So that's why. Zenaya, did you did you hear what you just said? You said you're all natural. It took you not just last time, but <laughs> ten minutes into this time to let people know that your products are all natural. That should have been one of the first things you uh -oh. said. That, that's a marketing point right there that you should have highlighted off the bat. So just remember that for the future because that's a, 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 a marketing sell that really separates you from so many other of the products out there that you're doing. It's it's all done in-house and it's all natural. That's dope. God, yeah, I definitely did forget that. Oh, yeah, I do know about Juneteenth. I was definitely doing stuff for Juneteenth. I don't even worry about that. But, yeah, I'll um put my information um, for everybody that's asking as well. Okay, got you. And I, and I see um, Miss Cheeky um, just joined in. This is, you know, I was I don't even know if she was on earlier, but she's the one who really made me think about doing this marketing panel because she came on, she owns, um, what do you call it, um, Ariel's Car Candle Shop. 
And, you know, she was asking how can she market offline? And I was thinking to myself, like, this would, it, 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 doing a marketing panel that's ongoing, it, it would make perfect sense for our community. So oh, it's geez. even you, you guys who are inspiring me. Okay. Oh, she's the Ariel Campbell chat one? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think that's her. If I if I, I'm 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 not great with these handles, but I think that that's her. So make sure y'all go and support. Matter of fact, Miss Cheeky, uh, uh, just just triple checking that your Ariel's candle shop. Um, <laughs> put it in there because I want people to go and buy your candles. I I bought two of them, and them candles are insane. I mean, and and that's like another thing. Again, it's moving support movers. Like I bought two of her candles, and those candles are incredible. Like they're straight incredible. Right. So, so everybody needs to go check out um, Ariel's Candle Shop if you're into care candles. You know, th those candles they light up the whole room and they last for hours. Like, like that. Mm -hmm. That long after the light went out, you know, you're still smelling it. So, it's it's definitely dope. Right. All right. Well, I don't want to hold you up. I know other people are, um, you know. Yep join and all that but thanks everybody for the love um i'll put it in the chat but if y'all want to hear it right now it's um instagram is crafty looks co so it's um crafty like craft and then with a d and then so k-r-a-f-t-y-l-o-o-k-z-c-o that's my instagram and then my um website is crafty looks so the same thing crafty looks by n-i-y dot com but i'll put it in the chat Thank you so much, Zania. Stay, stay, stay in, stay in the live. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more you can learn from from people in the live tonight. But thank you for checking in. Okay, and I hope y'all stuff come with the uh, UPS with the lane and everything, but it's on its well, way. My, my my sister, she's listening to you. I, my, so so God willing, her stuff come any day now. Definitely. All right. Let me see you. Uh, be good, girl. <laughs> Bye. Okay, it looks like it looks like Instagram is acting right tonight. Um, let me see who else we got in the live. But it looks overwhelming. Like you know, me doing this marketing panels is something that you know the community wants. Um, shouts to Miss Cheeky, aka Ariel's Candle Shop, for really prompting this idea within me. It, you know, it really comes down to are we going to do it weekly or are we going to do it monthly? But let me see who else wants to jump in this live. Please have your questions handy, y'all. Don't be afraid to jump in this live. This is what we do it for. Oh, my brother Jay, what up? What's up? What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> John, hold up, yo, Jay. First and foremost, got. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, and then I'll go. Introduce yeah, you yourself. Let the community know who you are. You do it. Nah, this this is this is my mentor. This is the guy, Josh Takeman, who brought me in the game and taught me everything I know about marketing. Everything from learning how to write. At that time, there was no, I don't even think it was PowerPoint. You taught me how to write proposals um, on Word documents. You know, here I am marketing and doing all of this uh, ingenious marketing on the street for, for records. And Josh opened my brain to understand that this type of marketing can be done for corporate brands. It wasn't just limited to records. And he taught me everything he knows. So this is the man behind Sean Perez, Josh Takeman. What up, brother? What's up? I'm good, man. How are you? Congrats. It seems like you've really built a platform for yourself. Now, I'm trying to build a community to give back, Josh, the same way you gave to me. I'm really trying to give back to, to a community of movers out here, people who are really you know, trying to make moves, trying to make power moves and, and build their businesses from the ground up. So I'm happy you jumped in, man. And, you know, I, I, I talk about you in, in the past tense, what you did for me. I, you know, people don't realize that you are the CEO and the founder of eBoost. And that's something, if you don't mind, you know, at some point in this conversation, I would love for you to, to not just speak about your background, but what you're doing now with eBoost. Okay, well, you know, that's my favorite topic. <laughs> Feel great, do more all day, every day. So, so, so go ahead, you know, Josh, tell everybody what is eBoost and what even prompted you to, to create eBoost? So, eBoost is um, a performance, a line of performance products starting with the beverage, you know, like a healthy, clean, better for you energy drink. 
It actually tastes good. It gives you nutrient dense product for healthy energy, for focus, for recovery. Um, and it all started from our powders. So we've been in the powder business for a long time. Everyday healthy powders, super powder, uh, pow pre-workout. And then we just launched the BCA. So everything is about making you feel great and do more. And it really all started. Originally, I was going to do, you know, after I left Bad Boy, I started my own marketing agency. And I had a client that owned a, a, a huge line of supplements. And this is, goes way back to like 2009. And uh, he wanted to create a line of products for the urban market. And, you know, everything he presented to me was horrible. He actually wanted Mark Jenkins. Remember, he was Puffy's trainer back in the day? Yep. He wanted Mark to be the face of it. And this is pre-social media. And I'm like, no disrespect to Mark, but like, I barely even know who he is. What do you think anyone else outside of New York City that, you know, is in the hip hop community, they're not going to know who he is. So you don't have a marketer for the brand and you want to reach a specific demo. So I said, if you really want to do this, there's this new kid named 50 Cent uh, that's blown up. And by that time, he had only had dropped one mixtape. So he wasn't even, I think it was to, to rob an industry. Remember the song he did for D-Dot? Yep. Uh, and I'm like, this kid's going to be the guy. I said, we should go partner with him. And he's building a whole crew, G unit. And so we literally were going to partner with him and do a line of G unit vitamins. And of course, in the last second, he missed the most important meeting. He thought he could call in for it. And uh, I was devastated and just sitting with the buddy. And he's like, why is it that you always get to the finish line with these guys like so many times with Puffy? And then something goes left, usually the artist. Um, and so he said, why don't you just create your own product or why don't we do something together? And so we just selfishly thought was was missing in our lifestyle, you know, live hard, play hard. And I wouldn't take, you know, products with chemicals or artificial ingredients if I absolutely didn't have to. Uh, so I said, why is there not a clean energy product? You know, there was Baraka in Europe and there was Airborne and Emergency. And I said, why don't we create a product that gives you, you know, all the benefits of what uh, Airborne gives you, all the benefits of emergency, all the benefits of um, um, Baraka, plus let's add healthy energy. And so we kind of created an all-in-one product uh, to give you that everyday boost. So, so you said, you, Josh, you started out with powders? Yeah. Can, can you speak to, to our community? Because... So often people get, depending on what category they're in, and they, and they think that they have to do everything from the beginning. Can you speak yep. to the importance of just starting niche and building a, a, a following and then working your way out and adding products, products to your line? Well, I think the world's changed, right? Since I started it, now you have the ability, the, the barrier to entry to create a product is so much lower now because the MOQs, the minimum order quantities are much lower. You could, you know, Shopify, anyone can stop up, set up a Shopify uh, site in the matter of an hour. Um, you have fulfillment centers. So it's what there's direct to consumer in so many different capacities. So there's so many more places to sell a product that were available. But allow you if you have a really good idea you don't have to invest a lot of money to see the concept and, and validate the concept so you know and you need proof of concept I, I never recommend anyone just stop what they're doing and stop earning income to just lean into an idea until you've proofed it out first did you start with a lot of money no you, i mean i funded it i funded it myself you know between my sweat equity and my my money Really? No investors in the beginning? And not at the very beginning. Probably six months in, I got, you know, 500 grand, but the shit goes fast. No, we know. And even to this day, uh, Josh, I know you guys recently did a deal. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, was it with Arizona? Because now you're in Cairns. Correct? Yeah. Can you speak to us about just that, uh, that deal that was done and how it helped to scale your business? I mean, listen, doing a beverage, uh, we built enough brand equity and kind of like interest in our powder business that if it transformed into a liquid, it would be kind of a really healthier, better for you energy drink, which is a white space in the industry and a growing category. So I basically went to Arizona and said, we've been around for 10 years and have all this brand equity. Uh, people love our brand and our product, but I can't afford to do a beverage on my own the amount of resources it requires and infrastructure. 
I said, you have all those people. You, you'll never sell Arizona, but help me incubate eBoost in the beverage space. And let me just tap into your infrastructure and resources. And there's a big market that we can tap into together. Nice. Now, how has that been doing for you? Is, are the cans now the largest seller or is it still the powders? Uh, the cans are the largest sellers with the most opportunities just because there's so many points of distribution. In, in another question for you, and I'm, I'm trying to ask questions that hopefully somebody can apply this to, to their business model, you know, whether they're in this category or not. You have an energy drink in a can. Now you're yep. coming into a, a crowded space with the 800-pound the gorilla in the room, which is Red Bull. Uh, monster energy how are you 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 you're the little engine that could at this point how are you guys separating yourself from the competition like i told people earlier in the live you're the guy who really taught me the 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 basic principles and the strategies of marketing overall so i know you you know innately think as a marketer but how are you cutting through the club the clutter you know, it's not easy. It's hard. So you got to build community. It all goes back to community is your foundation. So, you know, we've already had an existing community that we've tapped into. But the truth is you got to pick and choose, you know, where you're going to sell your product and what's going to make it move. So if we're going to partner with Target, then we need to create some really interesting programs to, get, to make that product jump off the shelf or drive enough customer foot traffic in there for them to pull it off the shelf. And that, that is the hard part. And, you know, it's like throwing a lawn chair off the Titanic when it comes to marketing in the beverage space like you need real resources and horsepower so it's uh it's never ending what you need to do you see how much money monster spends and sponsoring professional athletes and extreme athletes and you name it they are deep in the space so we uh we are definitely the underdog we just have to find our audience and continue to grow it so we started through the sports and fitness was a channel that we could influence in a unique way. So that's kind of been part of our community and our foundation. Uh, corporate offices was a great channel for us, you know, getting it in the Googles and Facebooks where they're giving it away to their, to their employees. Unfortunately that hit a brick wall with COVID. So, you know, we have, we're going down traditional channels, you know, we're in all the sheets, you know, you know, sheets, the C store. Mm -hmm. So we're Absolutely. in all the sheets. We just got into Bola, but guess what? Next to us is 16 faces, uh, facings of Monster, 20 facings of Red Bull, 16 faces of Bang, uh, Rockstar, 12 facings. So we are we, we are just a, a pimple on their ass. So we have to be more innovative and more creative in terms of how we engage customers. Well, that that's exactly why I asked because in this in this live in this community right now, people are trying to. Uh, get their businesses out there. They're trying to become brand names, but the, their products are, are competing with the big dogs, the established products, the legacy brands out there. So, you know, even just hearing that you're able to have some, well, number one, and congratulations, because it's, it's no small feat to, um, to do a partnership with, 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 with Arizona and get cans in the store. So that's incredible um off off of the bat but i want people to know even on your level it's still an everyday fight like the, the the fight never stops you know and can you just speak to, to that right there because people would look at you and be like damn eboos i know the brand you're in the stores i can go to cvs i can go to target i can go and i see the brand there so you must be doing well the, can you let us when, when it's when it's time when you're trying to scale your business does the fight ever stop no you always have to be the underdog you always have to have an underdog mentality you always have to feel like today could be our last day in business if we don't figure it out and if you ever take your eye off the ball or don't have that drive or passion then you, you will lose it because you need to have a razor edge at all times it is it is a grimy aggressive competitive business just like anything you know it's mm -hmm. every business that you're in you always have to pretend that you're the underdog and you can never be satisfied celebrate the small wins but then you figure out how do you move those on to bigger wins josh if people wanted to buy your product where can they find you uh, we're in a lot of the we're in a lot of the C store, a lot of the up and down the street stores in New York City. Uh, we're in a thousand uh, CVSs across the country. 
Um, there's the target on 34th Street. Uh, we're in that target. We're in 50 targets right now doing a test. Um, uh, City Acres, uh, all the berries, boot camps, all the lifetime fitnesses. Um, our website, go to eboost.com and we have a store locator. Or go to yeah, Amazon. That's what I was gonna, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. Amazon will ship for free. That, that's what I was going to ask you. You know, you mentioned a lot of the brick and mortar. How important is online for you, both with marketing and sales? Everything. Online is everything. Online really? is your community. It is your build, ability to build a foundation. The more, the, the, the stronger of a relation, one-to-one -one relationship you can have with that customer, the better. You know, and you've got to nurture it. You've got to treat them with the highest level of respect. Got you. Okay. Yo, Josh. Um, your personal handle, if people want to follow you and learn more about you personally, what is it? Uh, at J.M. Takeman, T-A-E-K-M-A-N, J-M-T-A-E-K-M-A-N. Josh, thank you for jumping in. I'll see you in the ride, brother. All right, buddy. Congrats, bro. Keep it up. Thank Inspire. you, Jay. I'm trying. All right. You're doing it. Be good, Jay. Thank you. I'll hit you later. One. All right. Peace. Shout to Josh Takeman. Hopefully y'all learned something from him. Incredible businessman. Incredible businessman. Please support his business, eBoost. Um, like he said, you can buy it online or you can find it in so many of the local retailers. Uh, where we at? Anybody else who has any other questions, please hit that um, request button. I'd love to let y'all in. I'm trying to read some of the comments um, as, as we move on. Let me see if anybody's waiting to get in this live. Please, even before I do this, try to be in a quiet place. Please try to be in a place that is well lit. Have your questions ready and, and be concise with what you're, what you're about to ask because I want it to benefit our larger community. So anybody has a question, please hit the icon. That's two people down below and I'll let you in. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's on hold in the community. So if nobody's on hold, I guess I will I will take that as nobody's trying to get in. I'll give everybody another few seconds before we end it for the night. But um, if there's anything anybody wants to contribute to the community, let me know in the chat below. Also, please DM me if, if you have not made yourself clear how often we should do this marketing panel. I think it's something that could benefit everybody. Um, in this community. And like I said, this panel, the way I envision it, it'll be experts in several disciplines of marketing because marketing is so broad stroke. So we will have experts in the area of online marketing, uh, experts in the area of traditional marketing, which is typically television, radio, print, experts in the area of grassroots and alternative marketing so anything from street teams to brand ambassadors to mobile mobile uh video trucks so forth and so on these are the type of people and i'll bring them in and you guys can ask questions yourself about marketing your product let me see if anybody's uh waiting to get in before i sign off okay it looks like we got somebody waiting to get in Please have yourself, have your question ready. Be in a well-lit area. Clear and concise with your questions. Says it's waiting. Okay, let me see, Roger, we'll try that again. I'll send that request out again. Because I don't know if Instagram is bugging or what. And just reading this comments, if, if you wait, and, um, Instagram would let you in, so please hit that again. Uh, let me see. I just sent out this request again. Hopefully Instagram lets him in or lets her in, whoever's on the line waiting here. Okay, not sure. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Press, Who we got here? Man. 
Soji. Soji, what up? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, I, I, I thought Instagram was messing up again tonight. I was about to log off, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got through. Well, now, this is like my first time ever doing a live, so I, I didn't know what I was doing. It was, it was, it was bad on my end. I had to go back and access my microphone. Got but, you. Uh, but, yeah, you can hear me good and everything? Loud and clear. You well lit. Um, so you're in a good place, Soji. What up, man? Welcome to the community. I appreciate it, man. You know, even before you did your uh, Monday motivation, I was like, man, I got to talk to Prez at some time because I got to let him know, like, if ain't nobody else listening, I'm listening. You know what I'm saying? And you motivate me, man. You inspire me. And I can tell, man, it's just all coming from your heart. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You just spreading love in the community. So, man, I was like, I got to tell them, man. And your message on Monday was, like, right on point, you know. And um, I, I don't even know how I came across your IG page. But since then, I came across. I saw Mr. Jude came in. I started following him. Attended his uh, MLK Zoom on Monday. He was dropping mad gems on that joint. So, yep. you know, that was a good one. I, I got your boys, uh, Jack Canfield, his audio book. I didn't buy all of them, but I bought one of the audio books, man. So he might owe you some royalties or something. Nah, man, dude, Jack a... Canfield owe me a lot of money. Because anybody <laughs> I talk to is like, I bought Jack Canfield book after that interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you you dropping a lot of good content, man. So just keep it up, man. Keep it up. Keep it going, man. Because sometimes I'd be even a little tired. But I'm like, man, when I get on you and I hear your energy, man, it brings me back to life again. You know what I'm saying? Where you based out of, Soji? Uh, Sh Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, you in Charlotte? Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of people down that way. So you know, what what are you working on in your life, Soji? Are you working on? Have you started a business? Or are you interested in starting a business? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're we're online. We're online. Um, you know, we're doing the athletic wear. Um, I'm let's see, let's logo. see. So your logo a little bit. You see it? Yes, we do. You know that logo is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, you know, I mean, I'll I'll tell you how we kind of got started a little bit is that, you know, we, we found that there was kind of a, a empty space as far as athletic wear. You know, a lot of people that you know some of the greatest athletes come from our culture right um and we promote the stuff but none of it really comes from our culture it's not produced by our culture we make it hot but we don't really make it so in a, in a way it depends on whatever they're gonna make we have to wait on them to make it hot you know we don't really produce it ourselves and we just saw this empty space like why are not why are we not creating in this athletic wear brand where it's like uh you know a hundred billion dollar business we spend our money we market it but we're not really on the producer side you know so that's mm -hmm. where soji come in we know that like uh you know brands like nike and adidas they got the logo right so we was like we got to develop a dope logo a logo that looks good on the shoe a logo that looks good on the hoodie a logo that looks good on some leggings so <clears throat> that's what we came up we came up with the logo Right now on the website, you know, we have a lot of women's stuff. We do have, like, some men's dry fit shirts, um, you know, going to be coming out with some hoodies, like, next week when those come in. So I'm, I'm going to definitely send you a hoodie, man. You know? No, I need that. They're, 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 you don't even need to say I, 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 I want to support. So when okay. you get the hoodies, like, like I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to buy it. All you got to do is tell me, is it ready? If it's ready now, I'll, I'll put in an order okay. tonight. Okay. All right, for sure. I might need to hook up with your man, too. Uh, Josh, it was just on there. We might be able to collab on something. Oh, yeah. Josh is a great guy, and I definitely will, I'll, I'll definitely connect you with him. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah. Let, let me ask you, because I, I really want to learn more about your business, and I want the community to learn more about your business. How yeah. long have you been in business? Um, roughly about three years, but really just like this past year, really just selling online. Okay. Yeah. So right now, right now, what are you selling primarily? Is it is it men's athletic wear or is it women's athletic wear? And if you know, depending on which is which, if if somebody went to your website right now, is is it leggings? Is it is it more t-shirts? Like what can they expect to find it? Um, if they went on the website right now, it's pro primarily women's athletic wear, pro primarily uh, leggings, sports bras, uh, women's joggers. We have some unisex joggers, um, but we do have men's dry fit t-shirts. But, I mean, it, it is just the beginning. Like I said, I got the hoodies. The hoodies will be in next week. You know, those are men's and women's. So we're, we're, we're going to expand. I mean, 
um, you know, I got shoes. We don't have shoes on the website, but we want to expand everything. Everything that you see, like a Nike or Under Armour doing, you know, that that's what we want to do. You know, what are right you doing now, to promote? How are you promoting? Pretty primarily on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Get in touch with different influencers, uh, you know, and just you know, trying to do different photo shoots. Uh, try to collab with you know some other brands, you know, if they're willing to collab. So just you know, just building, you know, just building. So, so are you finding that you guys are growing? I know this year you said this was the year y'all really started to go to to really go hard. And I'm assuming when you say this year, we're talking about 2020. Have you seen an uptick in sales in 2020? Or, or did you find because of the recession that things kind of move like this and, and they just stay stagnant? Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, man, it's kind of like a roller coaster, man. <laughs> you know, I, I'll, I'll say this. Um, really, when I think when I think when COVID first started hitting, we, we saw an uptick, right? Then, then leveled out a little bit, and then after kind of like the George Floyd stuff that uh, you know started happening, we saw another uptick, you know. But it, then also we had some problems over the summertime with like getting shipments in and customs and stuff like that. So we slowed down a little bit in the summertime. So you know, I mean, it, I mean, it's steady. Given that it's, it's COVID and you know the economy isn't great right now, um, you know we're we're, st we're still building. You know, we we're still getting followers. We're still getting orders. So, um, you know, just kind of keep keep building, you know, keep building, keep pushing. I think some of the things you said uh, on your Monday was like, um, you know, sometimes you don't think like, oh, I ain't got the order coming in, but then you get somebody order, then you get that DM like, oh, thank you for your great customer service, or I love this outfit, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, it's, it's stuff like that, that that happens, you know. Let, let me ask you this, because I want to help somebody else who's in this live. Uh, yeah. you know, just through hearing your story. What are some of your biggest challenges that you face? And if you have any questions for me that I can help you with or, or the community, ask it. But also, how did you get over some of these um, challenges that you face? Because a lot of people, they set out, you know, the, the apparel category, it's crowded. It's a crowded space. People yeah. know the Nikes. They know the Under Armors. They know the Reeboks, the Adidas. Uh, you know, just you, you have an incredible logo. Show us that logo again. Because I want people to see it. Yeah. But really quick, before I let you go, yeah. just what are some of the biggest challenges you face? And, and, uh, and how do you overcome them? Well, I mean, I, I think really the biggest challenge is really changing the mindset. What we're trying to do, we're, we're really kind of changing the culture, right? We're trying to, you know, like what you're doing is building the community. We're, you know, we're really trying to change the mindset is that, um, we can have a brand, you know, that comes from our community, that comes from the hood, that comes from the culture, and we can use our culture to market it. I think one of the advantages that we have is that um, we can market ourselves in ways that maybe some of the corporate brands can't necessarily do. Um, but I mean, it's I mean, it's not like it's a challenge, but it's not like a challenge that we've overcome yet. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're, it's still a work in progress. I mean, there's some people that get it. Um, but there's a challenge when you're trying to put out a new brand, you're trying to put out a new logo and people don't, you know, like and some people say, I think you said other people said like, you know, sometimes the people that's closest to you don't even really, they, they don't get it. They're the last ones to get on board. But yep. yeah, some people say like, yeah, man, I see it. I, it's dope. I see the vision, you know? So um, it, we know it's not going to happen overnight. We know it's going to take patience because, you know, I mean, Nike and them started off the same way. Under Armour started off the same way. I remember when I saw that, first saw that Under Armour logo, I'm like, you know, what is that? That looked like a McDonald's sign or something. Like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like you just got to keep showing it to them. You got to put out a uh, quality product. And sometimes you'll have mistakes. You know, sometimes an uh, outfit or something work, won't work out right, but you just got to keep going. Sometimes those problems, you know, get you cr uh, thinking more creatively. Uh, creatively, you know, so it's, it's not really a failure. Just think, you know, sometimes you, uh, you know, they mess up an order, shipment or something. You're like, oh man, this this is just messed up. I'm gonna have to throw all these away. But you know, you just keep thinking about it. You keep you think about a way that um to overcome those problems. You know, just keep at it. Keep thinking about it. Uh, keep researching the market. Pay attention. I do. I spend a lot of time on Instagram. What do people like? You know, uh, you know, so you got to you got to be creative. You got to understand what people like. 
Um, <clears throat> one of the ways that we try to separate ourselves from the other brands is with the logo. You know, so we wanted to create a logo that no matter what, we don't need our name on it. We don't need no fancy saying. If you see that joint on a billboard, once people start getting familiar with the brand, they'd be like, that's a Soji logo, you know, so. Soji, before yeah. I let you go, where can people, where, tell us your website, because I want to make sure you get some orders tonight. All right, I'm going I'm to put, put it in right now. Uh, but it's uh, www.soji, S-O-L-G, where www.solgware.com Yeah, I'm putting it in the uh, chat right now. I appreciate you, brother. I'm going to try to get one more person in here because we're coming up on our hour. I like to keep these to, to an hour flat. But Soji, I, you know, it, it, it really makes me feel good that you said what we're doing on Monday nights and Wednesday nights are, are inspiring you especially as a young business person. So so thanks so much for, for even letting us know that what we're doing is making a difference because just, just as though you're trying to build your brand, I'm trying to build this brand and really trying to build a community that people know I can come over here, I can get answers, I can ask questions, I can get inspired, especially as business people we know Every day is not going to be sunshine. Every day is not going to be where you get, you know, two, three, five, ten orders in. It's going to sometimes be weeks on end before somebody comes to your website. And just having somebody tell you, you can do it, stay the course, you're doing great. It makes all the difference in the world. So thanks so much for even letting me know what we're doing is making a difference in your life. I appreciate it. For sure, man. I, I feel like it's changed in my life, man. You know, so keep doing your thing, man. I'm going to keep following you. And uh, I could tell it's coming from your spirit, man. Everything you've been through, man, I could tell you're putting out there in the universe. So I, man, I'll let you go. I'll sign off. Appreciate Thank you, friend. kid. Be good. Uh, you too, man. One. All right, I'm going to let one more person. I see Briss Beats. Briss Beats, I'm, 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 I'm going to try to find you here before, before I let it go. We're going to try to make it quick. We're coming up on an hour. Y'all know I like to try to keep this to one hour, just respecting time. So, <clears throat> yes, sir. Yo, yo. How you doing, Press? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Your lighting looks good. Your sound sounds good. No, my lighting's all right. Um, yeah, I did come in here just to, just to thank you, bro, because you're, you're, constantly giving people their flowers you get me like i feel like someone needs to give you your your um flowers um as for someone like me oh, I came across like your youtube page maybe like about a month ago so i've just been binging you get me like just like catching up and whatever so so yeah i think i've i've probably watched nearly half of your youtube interviews now you get me and so yeah i'm just catching up and I just want to thank you, bro, because right now, like, I'm at a phase where previously, like, I, did, I didn't make the best choices in life, you know what I'm saying? And and things like this, um, I forgot what word it is. Um, it's kind of divine in a sort of way, because as I'm getting my shit together, I'm coming, I'm coming across, like, a page like yours, where it's like a, com a community where, yeah, me, like, I'm more encouraged and yeah, so just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Don't fuck the numbers. Don't worry about that. That will come. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about all of that because all you need is to change one per person's life and you never know. Like, they could go to go do something big to change their community life. For example, with me, what I'm trying to do is like lead my life, by example, because one thing that I've realised in this life is that people don't want to give you credit um credit so when i speak to like a lot of my young g's a lot of my friends i realize that i kind of inspire them in how and by by like what i do so they might not say oh chris you inspire me da -da -da -da, but it shows in how they behave and how they conduct a business and you get me in that sort of way so that's just so yeah, you've helped me just basically keep my head straight focused. And I saw someone ask where I'm from in the chat, I'm from London. 
You you in London? Yes, sir. Now I hear that accent. I was about to ask you myself, like real real talk, brother. I I, I can't thank you enough for saying what you said, and I don't think you understand how much it means to me. You know, uh, I do what I do, and I really do it from my heart. Uh, you know, where I come from is the Bronx, New York. We, you know, we grew up in the poorest of the poor borough and uh, of New York City. And, you know, God bless me to make it out. And, and it's important for me, and I think it's important for you and for anybody in this community who's listening I know everybody's on their journey. I know everybody's trying to make money. I know everybody's trying to get ahead in life. But money is a small part of what this whole life thing is about. It's really about inspiring and touching the next generation and touching people. I don't know. You said that you didn't make the best choices. I don't even know what that means. But if my works and my words and my actions are helping you to make better choices so that now people can see how you change your life. And because they know you a real one and they want to change their life, then this is what it's all about. My work is done. Yes, so sir. so I thank you for even, even, even jumping in and giving me these flowers. Like, you know, it, sometimes we have a bad habit. You know, I'm human. We look at the numbers. And the numbers ain't, you know, going through the roof. And we're looking at somebody else's grass, and it always seems greener. But we don't stop and think that it's somebody like yourself whose life I'm touching. So thank you so much because you. But even by saying what you said, it touched my life and and it gives me that encouragement to know what I'm doing is right. I'm on the right track, and and I just got to keep going forward. Yes, sir. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing because literally you just. Fuck them numb numbers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck them numbers. Well, just stick with me, brother. Like, like, like it's it's comments like these that that inspire me. They, that this is what I wake up in the morning and do what I do for for people just like yourself. So thank you so much for 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 jumping in here and giving me these words. God willing, week over week, I'm saying something that's inspiring you to get out there and do it. And I'm going to keep doing my thing. If you promise me, you're going to keep doing your thing. Yes, sir. We're going to meet, sir. We're going to meet. Like, I don't know when, where, how, who, but we're going to meet. Don't worry about that. Please. Let's speak that into existence. And, and when we do, I want you to remind me of this right here, right now. Yep, I want you to remember the dude that was pouring water, yes, in a red cup. And I was there. <laughs> <laughs> my UK brother, I'm with you. Yes, sir. All right, peace, Briss. I appreciate you, Briss. Love. Okay, one love, brother. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, we're going to close it out right here. For anybody I didn't get to in, in um, the request, we will 100% try to get to you next week. Shout out to everybody who jumped in the live tonight. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. Week over week, we should be growing, y'all. Like, like, we are movers. You know, shout to my man, Reg Hunt. I see you, kid. We're, we're movers, which mean we hang with movers. So tell all of your friends Wednesday night, which tonight is Thursday. We're just doing a makeup night because last night was inauguration and Instagram was bananas. But week over week, let's continue to grow this community. All right. Shout to Eyes on the Repost. Briz Beats. Shout to my UK brother all the way from London. They like five hours ahead of us. So he stayed up late to do this. It's like one o'clock in the morning over there or something. So peace to, to, to my people across the pond. All right, y'all. See y'all next week. One.